Hey guys, Math 1500, Fall 2015, week number nine. I've written some things down here uh, just so I don't forget uh, what to talk about here. And I hope you'll watch this video. Uh, it, it's become clear after exam number one that you know this, this kind of platform uh, just isn't working for some of you. Uh, and again, I'm just convinced some of you aren't doing what I ask you to do. Some of you aren't watching the videos. Uh, and, and I know some of you are watching the videos and it's just not going well. Um, you know, this is to me uh, a lot of F's considering how many people took the exam. Uh, I've taught Math 1500 a lot of times, almost uh, almost 100. Actually, I think over 100 if you count all the STEM and off-campus courses I've taught. Um, and, and you know, this this is this is more than uh, I expect. I've had classes before that uh, had success on the first exam. Just I, had, I remember I had a night class once, a Thursday night class. Uh, and I had, you know, a couple of motivated students in there, but the rest, the, the rest was just something else. And, um, so, you know, it's hard for me to know whether, you know, maybe statistics just isn't your thing or whether it's the online part that's causing that. But, you know, it's, it's frustrating when I put up a video and I, I see that only, you know, we've got 20 students in here and I see that only 10 people, it only has 10 views after a week. Uh, it shows me that something's not, uh, happening on your end. And, um, but, uh, you know, it's it just, this, this, just, just, you know, I say sometimes that the, the online, uh, platform isn't for you and, and that's not condescending. It's not being condescending or judgmental to you. I, I, uh, met with my provost this, uh, Saturday on something non-related to math 1500, but we were looking at some ACT, uh, cut scores, but, um, uh, he was talking about taking an online course and he's one of the most, uh, He's one of the hardest workers I know. Uh, seems like he's always on campus working for the university. And uh, he was talking about how much discipline it took on his end and how it even challenged his self-discipline. So, guys, it's not, it's not a, uh, something on you if this isn't working for you. Uh, and I've, I've told you in previous videos, but you know, of course you probably didn't listen to them, but uh, the, it, I couldn't have taken the, uh, an online course when I was a freshman or sophomore in college. Because I wasn't self-disciplined enough yet to do that, so uh, you know. But clearly, it's working okay for for some of you, um, and and still, there's a couple of students left that need to take the first exam, and and I have a feeling they're going to do really well. So this average is is going to bump up. Uh, is there going to be a curve? I think more than likely there will be. I don't go back and just curve scores because they're low because uh, sometimes scores are low because you're not doing anything. You don't deserve a curve. Uh, I go back through and look at the exam questions, and if there's any exam question that students tended to miss a lot, I'll re-examine that question and maybe give credit for it or throw it out, something like that. So uh, I've still got some work to do. Uh, this is the lowest they're going to be, but there's a chance that it may up uh, 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 get, you know, there's a chance I may throw out a couple of problems or maybe one. Uh, so there's a chance that average could get up to, you know, 66, 67, 68 by the time I reconsider. And there's a chance it may stick at 62. Guys, next topic, the good news is I think by far the toughest uh, 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 topic that we cover in Math 1500 for students is the central limit theorem. And I suspect when I go back and look at the questions that pertain to the central limit theorem, especially those that dealt with pr proportions, I'd say that those are going to be the most uh, frequently missed problems. Uh, the good news is we're going on to something called confidence intervals. You can expect this week three video videos on confidence intervals. And um, um, it, I, I think it's easier. So, guys, if you'll just... Uh, Set out the time to watch the videos. Uh, again, not why you got Grey's Anatomy or something on, but really sit down and, and give it your full attention. Uh, I think uh, grades are going to boost over the next, uh, uh, next part of the class. We get into confidence intervals, hypothesis testing, regression and correlation. It's all big fancy fancy words to some of you, but I'll tell you it's easier than uh, sampling distributions and the central limit theorem. Okay. Guys, you're going to have another R assignment. Uh, this will be due, uh, let's just make it due next Tuesday. So guys, that will be, I think, October, let me see what 
actually is going on here today is the 19th, so the 20th. So this would be October 27th at 11.45 p.m. So you're going to have a Hawks learning assignment that will also be due. So you'll have two assignments that will be due next Tuesday, uh, October 27th at 11.45 p.m. Just like the first assignment on R, you'll email that to me and I'll give you instructions on how to do that in this video. The content on these other three videos will be covered in Hawks Learning. Uh, guys, I'm telling you, it's, it's easier. It really is. It's a lot easier than uh, what we were doing in, in sampling distributions in the central limit theorem. So, so guys, I think it's a time for you to kind of sit back and do a self-assessment. Uh, have, have you been watching the videos and stats just isn't your thing? Uh, there's no way I'm going to know the truth. Uh, because I'm not going to come to your house and and and, and stalk you, uh, or uh, you know, have you just been screwing around, not watching the videos near as much as you as you should? You you, you go on hawks, you try to figure it out, uh, guys. But the easiest way to do it is just listen to me. Let me show you how to do the problems, and uh, and and watch the videos. Um. So you know, again. Uh, should you drop? I have no idea. Uh, I don't know what you've been doing. Uh, that's a bad thing about this this online class is I really don't know what you've been doing. I don't know whether you've been watching the videos or whether you you put them up and you think ah it's hard, it's too hard. I'm like, I don't want to think that hard. And then it's, I don't know what's going on. So uh, you've got to you've got to figure that out on your own. Uh, there is help. Uh, uh, you know you can. Come see me. I'm on campus uh, t uh, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I'm available for Google Hangout sessions on Mondays and Thursdays. I've met with some of you, but most of you aren't using that. Uh, the math lab, uh, I would uh, uh, talk to Allison. Um, there's some others in there. I'm trying to think who else would be uh, would be good. Uh, well, the problem is I don't really know who's working in there now, but uh, but uh, Allison's a graduate assistant, so she would uh, be able to help you with uh, my math lab. Well, I'd be able to help you with, uh, not my math lab, with Hawks, uh, but anything really pertaining to the class. All right, uh, guys, notebooks. One more uh, issue here in notebooks. I'm really not sure what I was thinking there. Uh, I wanted to simulate some sort of class attendance because I give attendance grades when I teach this class on campus, so I wanted something built into my grading scale where if you watch the notebook, or I'm sorry, if you watch, the notebook's actually a movie, isn't it? Uh, if you watch the videos and follow this Cornell note-taking thing that I was going to give you some credit for it, uh, some of you did a really, really good job uh, on that. And some of you did a crappy job. Some of you just, you could tell you just tried to throw something together at the very end hoping for a prayer. Uh, hoping that I wouldn't notice or something, but uh, I mean they were just they were they were horribly done. And it just shows me that you didn't put much time in on that. Um, but some of you did great. Uh, but anyway, I got to grade these things. It took me three trips the other day from where you took your midterm uh, for me to get all those notebooks to my car. So gang, I'm going to grade those tomorrow. Uh, uh, so stop by my office anytime. Again, I am. Uh, oh yeah. Let's pretend that's a W. Uh, I am on campus Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays uh, almost all day. Uh, if you're on campus another day, Mondays and Thursdays or Tuesdays, and you just don't want to see me, you just want to come pick your notebook up, just let me know. I'll leave it someplace uh, where you can come and pick it up uh, with no personal interaction. All right, gang, uh, I'm done. Uh, four videos coming up again. Make sure you get this R assignment to me. Uh, by next uh, Tuesday, October 27th. It'll be submitted email, and you'll also have uh, three Hawks assignments. Now, I think there's about five questions per assignment, so um, use, uh, and, and again, you're going to find this uh, content a lot easier than um, uh, sampling distributions. Guys, keep an eye out for those goofy quizzes. There's going to be three more of them within the next... Uh, uh, well, by the end of the semester, I want to have five total. Uh, I think we've had two so far. Um, so I want uh, I want to have uh, uh, five total. Those, those things are worth uh, 
uh, 20 to 25 points each. So it's almost the equivalent of one complete assignment. So uh, keep a, keep uh, an eye on those things. Uh, you know, very few people are are submitting them, and uh, it just shows me you're not watching the videos because it's easy questions. It's it's goofy things. All you got to do is just submit it. So guys, I'm done. Have a good one. Hope things are going well.